35 years ago, taxi driver George Murdoch was murdered by a mystery passenger in Aberdeen. Dubbed the Cheese Wire Murder, it sent shockwaves across the Granite City. Today, his family have launched a fresh appeal for justice. A warning, Ben Phillips' report contains images some viewers may find distressing. I think that person's a low life. They're never, ever, ever going to pick up the phone and say, oh, you know, I've, I've had a change of heart, it was me. They're just not going to do that. 35 years ago, taxi driver George Murdoch was brutally murdered on the outskirts of Aberdeen. Today, his family and police have made a fresh appeal for information to catch his killer. When I think of Dodd, I, I always think of him with a smile on his face. He was a nice man. He was just a, a quiet, unassuming, just a gentle, gentle, kind man. We are still desperate today as we were then to have this this murder solved. 29th of September 1983, when 58-year-old George Murdoch is flagged down by a man in his 20s heading for Peter Cooter. Minutes later, he stops his car five miles short of his destination. Two teenagers on bikes witness a struggle and cycle for help, but it's too late. Seen here is a replica of a cheese wire used during the vicious attack. George suffered severe injuries to his head, face and neck and died at the scene. My husband and I went out the gate and um, we saw the car door open and Mr Murdoch was lying on the ground. Um, we did go over it but I couldn't feel a pulse. Weeks had passed when an employee at a nearby chip shop revealed they had served a man shortly after the attack whose hands were covered in blood. I'm totally sceptical about that, just totally sceptical. I just not that I've ever murdered somebody, but I just don't think I'm going to go into a chip shop and go get something to eat after doing something like that. George's brother, who appeared in a Grampian TV documentary, died without seeing justice served. I just want whoever is caught to uh, suffer now. They've been caught at the time. They've been out three years ago. If they're caught now, hopefully they'll be in there in prison till they die. Despite the passing of George's closest relatives, his extended family remain determined. They are offering a £10,000 reward for information while police make a review into the case. They say with developments in forensic techniques over the last three decades, vital evidence could now be recovered. George's murder remains unsolved. His killer remains out there. We think people may still have information about who murdered George. I can't believe that somebody doesn't know something or has an idea of somebody who may have been responsible. Their conscience must be, must be absolutely in turmoil with, with this, that they know about it or they suspect it and they haven't said anything. And I would say to them, for their sake and certainly for the family's sake, don't take it to your grave. George Murdoch's life was brought to an abrupt end through senseless violence at the hands of a complete stranger. Police believe someone somewhere knows something, but the question remains, will justice finally catch up with this mystery killer? Ben Phillip, STV News, Aberdeen.